Life seems more and more complicated each day, doesn't it? Why is that? And is there anything we can do to fix it? Well, I've given it a lot of thought, and I'd like to share those thoughts in this video. I hope you find it informative and useful. My name is Joe, and I bought five acres of raw land in the high deserts of Arizona, and I am building an off-grid homestead. Welcome to my channel, Off-Grid Solitude. What does complicated mean when it comes to life? Well, it means having lots of twists and turns and loopbacks. It's not just stress, but with a sense of chaos and confusion along with it. We've all felt that way. Some of us feel that way every day. But why does it happen? And is there anything we can do to fix it? Well, luckily there is, and the answer is very simple. Take me, for example, living out here alone in the desert. Is my life complicated? Well, no, it isn't. I live very simply. But the funny thing is, where I live doesn't have all that much to do with it. It helps, sure, but we can't really blame our surroundings for all the stress and complications in our life. I lived a pretty simple life when I worked and lived back in the city. And I have friends and neighbors out here who are run ragged every day. Now, how can that be? What makes life complicated? Well, in short, we do. If our lives are complicated, it's because we allow them to be. And if our lives are simple, it's because we make them that way. This was a difficult video to make. I struggled a lot putting my thoughts down onto paper. Ideas aren't as easy to put into words as just telling a story of things that happened. And not only that, once I had my thoughts clear and down on paper, what kind of form would this video take? At first I was planning a day in the life format, you know, the typical vlog. For inspiration and just to wrap my brain around the whole thing, I watched a lot of popular vlogs on YouTube. And a common theme was productivity. Everybody wanted to show how productive they were that day. And strangely, it mostly involved making a big breakfast or a smoothie or sometimes uh, going for a run or going to the gym. And that's not actually productive. <laughs> Those are distractions. <laughs> if you've ever sat down to try to write a novel or a term paper <laughs> and you find yourself uh, cleaning the grout in your bathroom, you know all about distractions from uh, real productivity. But I probably shouldn't take it too seriously. I think that's just what makes an interesting video. My idea was to say that I do as little as possible during the day. I'm not sure that makes as interesting of a video. <laughs> that's not to say I just lay around all day, of course. I have my daily chores, I have my animals to take care of, and I have a to-do list. I'm building a homestead, so there's plenty to do. But I also have a lot of downtime as well. Allowing yourself some downtime can feel unnatural. We're taught at a very young age to keep ourselves busy. In school, there was always busy work, little projects. Um, we'd make Thanksgiving decorations or little Santa Claus or snowman out of construction paper and cotton balls. <laughs> Maybe that's why it takes 12 years to learn the same stuff they used to learn in six years a century earlier. <laughs> and of course, we're never really allowed downtime at work. We've all heard the expression, if you've got time to lean, you've got time to clean. <laughs> that's really all it takes, just slowing down a little. And the knots in your life will slowly untangle themselves. It doesn't seem like it'll work, but it does. Think about it. When our schedules are packed tight, any little hiccup will cause chaos. On a normal day, maybe a weekend, you get a flat tire. Well, it's inconvenient. But on a day with a tightly packed schedule, 
of very important things and you get a flat tire, well, you're doomed. <laughs> and when we have a little bit of time to breathe, we get our perspectives back. And with a little bit of perspective, even the most complicated things become simple. Look at this complex tangle of roots and vines. You zoom out a little bit, get a little distance between you and the object. Oh, it's just a tree. What was once very complicated is now simple. We get too close to situations to see clearly. Sometimes it's because we're stretched too thin and over our head. Other times we're just too emotionally involved and sometimes it's both. And we all know the advantages of proper preparation. It's obvious, nobody's disputing that. <clears throat> So why don't we do it? Why do we run to the store without that shopping list? Well, because we didn't have time to write one, or we didn't think we did. Slow down a little bit and you have time for preparation and double checking and making sure you get it right the first time. And not only that, the brain just needs time to digest. Um, we've all heard the expression, sleep on it. It'll, uh, it'll make sense in the morning. And that's very true. Situations just seem a little less complex and answers seem a little bit more obvious after a good night's sleep. That's just how we work, how we were built. That's biology. Yet few people build that into their schedules. Or well, we'd like to, but we're not allowed to. With a little time and distance, answers become obvious. But sometimes the answer is to let all those balls you're juggling just fall down to the ground. We may not like these answers, and sometimes we know we're not going to like the answer, so we avoid it. But that's really unnecessary. If we don't like the answer, we don't have to do it. We can just keep on keeping on. But at least the confusion will be gone. Sometimes there's nothing we can do. Other people make our lives complex, and that's the way they want it. Slowing down and taking a little time for yourself isn't really possible at work. You'll get yourself fired. <laughs> it's happened to me a few times. You do the best you can. Maybe work will always be a hassle. But that doesn't mean our home life has to be. I was pretty happy for years, scrambling at my job, but then coming home and living a very simple life. And I could tell right away I was better off than my coworkers who took all their stress home with them and then back to work again in the morning. Half of them were ready to pop at any moment. It wasn't perfect, but I was able to practice living a simple life and learn each day and get better and better at it. Now that I live off grid, my time is my own and it would be a shame if I brought all that nonsense with me. But it always creeps in though. Dealing with bureaucracies like government or large corporations would frustrate even a saint. <laughs> but I stay watchful of these kind of situations and I just take a deep breath and practice my patience. A while ago, the engine blew in my car and I almost panicked, but I stayed calm and gave it some time. And I realized I really needed to pick up anyway. So it all worked out. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or any of my other videos, please like, subscribe, and comment. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.